We gotta talk about Gear 5th. I feel like Gear 5th in the manga had so many iconic shots, and in the anime, we get a whole bunch of... <laughs> and also... But if I didn't talk about any of it, it would be messed up. So let me just start by talking about the audio, right? Let's start by talking about the drums of liberation. We start the scene off really slowly, and as we're introducing the drums, not only does the rhythm get faster, we are adding more complexity and more instruments. We're starting off really slow, and then we immediately start ramping it up. Like, it makes a dramatic turn. I wish I was confident enough to explain music theory. It, it, good. <laughs> it's the best I could muster. Also, can we talk about how throughout the entire fight we are using the we are and overtaken motifs? Because it needed to. Those are like the best pieces of the One Piece soundtrack. It would be tragic if they were never incorporated. I think the music sets such a good tone here. Like the character is laughing. Clearly everything is supposed to be joyful and goofy right now. And not only the fight, but the entire atmosphere from this point on dramatically shifts in tone. We're no longer trying to be serious. This is goofy fun time. I also really loved the voice acting for this episode. Like every single line is so full of expression. Just listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> and just seeing this guy fully losing it. Like, I love that we got to see him stand up and get into the rhythm of things. He's realizing, like, what's going on here? Why do I feel great all of a sudden? When he's going all out and he's going crazy, we at one point cut to Sanji, which I find really interesting. In Skypea, there is a person who just woke up all beat up. He goes outside once he starts hearing drums and then he sees Luffy in this goofy pose, which is pretty similar to what happens with Sanji and Luffy. One of the things I enjoyed was seeing the boomers talk about the gum gum fruit as we're getting some quick glimpses to the gum gum fruit and then cutting back to the boomers with their dialogue almost hyping up Luffy for this transformation. Now there is one section that I really didn't like from episode 1071 and that is Orochi. And that's not even the anime's fault. In the manga, in the exact same chapter where Gear 5th was revealed, we also cut to Orochi. Why are we doing this? I have a lot of problems with Orochi. I feel like he was a character that should have died like 30 chapters ago, and for some reason we're keeping him around, and every time we show him, he doesn't really get like a new character arc or a real reason to be in the scene anymore. And while we are wrapping up Hiyori's storyline here, at that point, I had seen too much of Orochi to care anymore. I was just like, yep, he's there. Cool, cool. Let's, uh, let's move on. Let's move on from Orochi, which is exactly what I'm going to do now. Let's keep talking about Gear 5th. We also get a lot of reaction shots to this version of Luffy, which honestly, I think it's completely warranted. Like, if there was ever a reason for a reaction shot, this transformation would be it. Especially when later on we see even goofier fight styles and get goofier reaction shots in accordance with that. Something that we also got in the manga. I do have some problems with the animation, which is that it is so experimental that it kind of damages the viewing experience. For example, here's a shot where Kaido shoots a fireball, Luffy sees it, he reacts by lifting the ground up and launching it back at Kaido. In the manga, this is very clear to see, but in the anime, we are dramatically messing around with a camera and screen composition. Like, if you didn't read the manga, I'm pretty sure you would have a lot more trouble following this scene. You could argue that the variety of different animation styles parallels the freedom that Luffy is obtaining from this new fighting style. I think that would be an interesting stylistic choice, but we don't have enough variety for me to think that's intentional. At most, this is four to five scenes across multiple episodes. 
That's why I also wanted to wait a couple more episodes just to see if this was a one-off scenario or if the rest of the fight with Gear 5 was going to be the animators being let loose. Because here's the thing, right? They are clearly capable of creating stylized animation while maintaining the original style. What we're looking at is an artistic choice to deviate from the original look of the show. I honestly think the animators were just let loose. They got to show off what they thought would look the coolest. They got to cook and some of the scenes added too many spices that took away from the original taste. I like them in a vacuum and as a one-off, but I really like the scenes where Luffy looks like, uh, well, Luffy. Even in some of the more natural scenes, it's not really the characters, but the composition and how quickly we're like cutting from shot to shot. Like again, it's kind of hard to mentally track. It's kind of even difficult for me to show you these scenes in this video. So uh, I like when it doesn't do that. That's why I think 1072 does a really good job. We tone it down a notch apart from like that one scene. We are having great animation while also maintaining consistency. That being said, there's a lot of really good stuff in this fight. I specifically love how Luffy interacts with his environment, like running in place and seeing how the ground shoots up beneath him, seeing him grab lightning, how he uses the ground as a trampoline, just really unique ways of showcasing this new ability. Anyways, thanks to all of my patrons who have been eating rubber, uh, thinking that they're eating a rubber fruit, but it's just rubber. It's only, <laughs> it's only rubber. Do not eat rubber. Is that really what I'm going with? You know what? Yeah, that's the lesson for today. Uh, because you know what? Luffy didn't eat the gum gum fruit. He ate something else. And you should eat something else too, not rubber. That's it. That's my takeaway. <laughs>